Hey guys, uh, this uh, Algebra 2 lesson is on determinants and Cramer's rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and go. A determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix right here is this, you guys. You drop the little hooks right here. A determinant is just a number. So a 2x2 two two matrix is we're going to go this times this, subtract this times this. That's what this is right here. And these are numbers. And you get a number like 15 or 10 or something. Okay, so for example, I'm going to go 8 times 6 minus 7 times 4. So 8 times 6 is 48, 7 times 4 is 28, so you should get 20. Okay, a 3 by 3 gets a little bit more involved, actually a lot of bit more involved. Don't let that scare you, you guys. What happens is, is this. Here's my, uh, the determinant of this matrix is, is uh, these, these three columns right here are these three columns right here. Okay, this column and this column is just a repeat of the first two columns. So what you got to do when you see this is you write the first two columns here again. So ADG is going to go right here and then BEH it goes right next to that. So there's my ADG, BEH. And then you multiply AEI, you multiply those, okay, plus B, F, G. So I'm just going down towards the right in a diagonal and I'm multiplying them. Then plus C, D, H. That's the first one. Then you subtract going this direction. G, E, C plus H, F, A plus I, D, B. And you're multiplying all those. Okay. And so you do the first three products added together. The second three products added together, and then you subtract both of those. So here's an example, you guys. Okay, first now I got before I do this, I'm going to add this column and this column right here. Okay, so now I'm going to multiply down towards the right. Okay, so five, four, seven, and then three, eight, zero, and then negative one, six, negative three. Okay, and then now let's go up towards the right, and I'm subtracting those. And I did those in purple. I don't know if you can see the purple, and this is blue right here. Okay, so 0, 4, negative 1, negative 3, 8, 5, and then 7, 6, 3. That's what that says right there. So multiply all those blueies up, add them up. Multiply all the purplies up, add them up, and you get uh, 158 minus 6 is 152. Okay, just got to watch out for your, uh, your minuses and stuff, you guys. Okay, here's another one. So cross multiply kind of, you guys, and you should get 10 on this one right here. Okay, here's another one. Going to add the first two columns on this guy, and then go down towards the right. Okay, so there I am going down towards the right in blue, and then it's minus. It's minus the up towards the right. Okay, but these guys have pluses in there, you guys. So, so we're going to go uh, this times this times this, plus this times this times this, plus this times this times this, and you subtract bluey minus purpley right there. Okay, and you should get 18 after you take care of all that. And this uh, lesson is going to be kind of long, so I'm going kind of fast. All right, so Cramer's rule uses matrices and determinants to solve uh, systems of equations. We just did our Algebra 1 skills on solving systems. And then so now I'm going to show you how to do it with an Algebra 2 skill called Cramer's Rule. Okay, so uh, given this system of equations, this is a 2 by 2 system right here because there's only two variables, x and y. Okay, so um, uh, this a and this b and this c and this d are just my x and y coefficients in this uh, matrix right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is find the determinant of this. I'm going to go a times d minus c times b. Okay, now x is this. Now don't let this scare you. Don't let it scare you. X is this. I replace the a and c with the e and f right here. So my x coefficients gets replaced with the numbers out on the right right here, e and f. The y coefficients stay the same. Then you divide it by the determinant of this guy right here. Okay, it's not that hard really. Okay, and then for the y's, I keep the x's a, uh, coefficients, a and c, so this a and c goes right here, but I replace the y coefficients with e and f. Okay, find out that determinant and then divide it by the determinant of a. Okay, so uh, notice that, uh, and this set just says the numerators for x and y and that uh, are the determinants of the matrix formed by replacing the coefficients of x and y. It's just saying uh, I'm replacing the x coefficients with uh, uh, the e and the f, and for the y's, I'm replacing the y coefficients for the e and the f right there. All right, so let's go ahead and use Cramer's rule to solve this system. First, we've got to find uh, the determinant right there. So the determinant of these coefficients, 9 and 3 and 4 and 5. Okay, so I get negative 57. Okay, 9 times 5 minus 3 times 4. All right, that's the bottom number. It goes underneath both sides. And then x is this, you guys. I replace the x coefficients, the 9 and 3, with the negative 6 and 21. And the y coefficients stay the same, 4 and 5. Okay, for the for the uh, solving for y, I replace the x coefficients with the 
uh, I'm sorry, for, I've replaced the y coefficients with the negative 6 and negative 21, and the x coefficients stay the same. Okay, negative 6 times 5 is 30, minus a negative 21 times 4, a minus a minus becomes a plus, and then so you get x equals negative 2, and you divide it by negative 57, and then y equals, uh, uh, when you multiply it, when you add those together, you get negative 171 divided by negative 57, which is 3. Trust me, you get the hang of it, and I have a couple of examples coming in, so the solution is 2, negative 3. All right, to solve a, a 3 by 3 system, Notice this matrix is the coefficients of the x, y, z. x, y, z. It's the numbers in front of x, y, z. Okay, I'm going to find the determinant of this one. And just like the 2 by 2s, I replace the x's with those, those numbers out on the right. And for the y's, I replace the y's with uh, j, k, and l. And for the z's, I replace the z's with the j, k, and l's. The x's stay the same, the y's stay the same. Here, the x's stay the same, and the z's stay the same. Here, the y's and the z's stay the same. Okay, so we're going to have to find the determinant of this guy divided by the determinant of whatever we get right here. All right, let's go ahead and try this, you guys. Okay, so here's one right here. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, go 3, negative 4, 2 is my first row. 4, 1, negative 5, and then 2, negative 3, um, 1 right there. Okay, so there's A right there. Let's find the determinant right there. going to add those first two columns, this column right here and this column right here. Okay, and then uh, go down diagonal. All right, so I get uh, negative 14. I got to go fast because uh, this is going to be a little bit longer than I want it to. So um, all the blueies going to add them together, all the purplies add them together and subtract them, and I get negative 14. So that's what I'm going to divide them all by negative 14. Okay, so x, check it out, you guys. X I replaced. Whoops, I replaced my x coefficients with these ones and left my y coefficients and z coefficients. For the y's, I replaced of the y coefficients and left the x's and the z's the same. And for the z's, I replaced those with these numbers right here. Okay, so let's just do this one right here, x right here below. Okay, going to add the first two columns, this column and this column right here, and then start going diagonal right here. So uh, when I did that, uh, I got a negative 28. So that's this guy right here, negative 28. So x is going to equal negative 28 divided by negative 14, which is 2. Okay, so that's what x is. Let's do y over here. Here's y. Okay, I'm going to add the first two columns right there. Oops, sorry about that. And then uh, go ahead and, and cross, kind of diagonal multiply right there and subtract. Okay, so bluey minus purpley. And I get, uh, looks like 14 over negative 14, so y equals 1. Now you can do this for z if you like. Some kids love this better than uh, plugging them in. But what I do is once I know two variables, I just substitute them into any one of the equations they gave me. And I chose that bottom equation because it had just one z right there. And so when I plugged them all in, I got z equal to uh, negative 4. So my solution is x, y, z. So it's going to be uh, negative 2, 1, and then, I'm sorry, 2, negative 1, and then 4. And then if you're in my Algebra 2 class, I would assign this to you.